All right, guys, I got a weird little lock here. It says, and the only marking on it says made in Germany. I'm going to call this a tubular C lock. This thing appears to be quite old. You can see that the, there's a pin here, so the shackle opens this way, so it pops out of there somehow. Um, it's got a really weird C-shaped keyway, and it looks to be some kind of tubular lock. Unfortunately, when I got the lock, I didn't get a key with it, so we've got to kind of figure this out. So I took a pick, and I slid it down, and I saw this pin right here, and normally I would say the mechanism to release this shackle is usually uh, here or perhaps even on the top. But when I take the pick and slide it in there, I find that post, but looking down under the light, I see the post, but it doesn't really do anything. There's no moving part around that post. So I suspect that's just part of the construction. And that's backed up by this, this weird looking keyway, because if we slide a key in there, it has to be a tubular and C-shaped to get around this little restriction right here. And then when we rotate that, it has to actuate something over here, either clockwise or counterclockwise. I don't really know which way to rotate it. I'm assuming clockwise, so we'll try that first. When I stick the pick over there, I can feel some stuff, but I can't really move it with this pick. So apparently it's got a pretty strong spring. So we're going to be forced to make a key or at least make a tensioner and then get a wire to try to, it's kind of like a combination tubular and lever lock, I think. So... I've got an eight millimeter piece of tubing here and it looks like it's about the right size. Now I'm gonna to have to cut a channel through the side of it so it will slide in there and then cut another channel up the side of it so we can rotate it. And then we'll either impression a key or we'll make a tensioner and then pick it with a wire. So let's go ahead and cut that slot and see if we can at least get started on making a tensioner for this thing. All right, you see I cut a little slot there and chamfered the end of that. It does fit. It's a little snug, but it does fit and fits in perfectly. But of course, we're not going to be able to rotate that shaft because the shaft is hitting on that little restrictor. So what I need to do is mark it and then cut a slot in the, in the shaft to get around that little restrictor plate. Once we get that done, then we can shave off everything in the middle, leaving just a little piece on the back to act as a tensioner. So let's first cut that little slot and make sure it's going to be able to rotate. All right, guys, got that little groove in there. We should be able to rotate it. Uh, it goes in like so, and it does have pretty good clearance right there. Unfortunately, it doesn't turn, probably because we're hitting all the levers. So what I really need to do then is, let me get the marker here to show you, is the tensioner, like all lever locks, is probably in the very back. So what I'm going to do is machine away. I'm trying to do this with the camera lens. Everything in red, I think I'm going to probably grind it away or cut it away in some way. Maybe use a Dremel tool. And just leave that very tip there in silver with a big hunk right out of the middle. And that will be my tensioner. And then I may have to machine some of this way to get a wire in there. But I think that is how we're going to have to tension this thing. So let me cut that red section away and then make sure it's still tensioning. All right, guys. It may not be the prettiest tensioner you've ever seen, but I think it's going to work. I'm probably going to have to go back now and... Probably continue, and I should have done this to begin with, machine away more of this. Just this whole part uh, all the way down to the center line probably. And that's so when I get it in there, assuming the tensions, uh, I can then get a wire in there. But let's first make sure it tensions. It might tension from the front. I really, I really don't know. So I'll slide it in there. Oops. Find a, there it is, it's spring low. So it is in the rear, rear tensioning. Let me put a little torque on this guy. All right, so that part about, you know, machining away that red part looks like I'm not going to have to do that. Let's try it again without my finger in the way. There we go, guys. That, I would have thought it had some levers in it. That is what the key looks like or something very, very close to that. Anyway, guys, there you go. The German tubular kind of lever lock. This is a perfect example of how you know just a little bit about a lock, how, they, how these lever locks work. You can kind of logic your way through uh, to figure out what the key might look like, how it's tensioned, and you kind of move on from there. This one was a little more simple than what I thought, but I am not complaining. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.